There's no script for this or anything, but this is the Rackmate T1 from DeskPy. They sent this to me, so there's a little sponsorship badge up there. They also sent me a few accessories, like they have this 10-inch uh, patch bay here, just a pass-through, and uh, a couple other things. And my electronics sent me these cases. These are mini ITX cases that can be either put together into one 2U rack mount uh, for a 19-inch rack, or into two 10-inch racks, which is kind of cool. Uh, this has the DeskPi Super 6C, which I bought a couple years ago now, I think, and it has six Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4s that'll be in this rack for testing. And this guy I put together in a video that I'll link below, I guess. And this has the TuringPi 2 board with four RK1s with 32 gigs of RAM. So this is a lot, lot faster than this board. I also ordered from the Kickstarter these compute blades, which are blade servers. And I, or I ordered the package that comes with a 10 inch rack mount uh, enclosure, which will, it'll stick out from this thing quite a bit. So this is the depth there. So, but it'll, I think that'll be pretty cool to have that many Raspberry Pis and RK1s and whatever other SBCs in the future. But I wanted to make a quick video about this rack in particular, because I think it's really cool. I have a large rack, a 42U 19-inch rack in the back. I have a small 20U rack in the front. I have a rack at home. I have a rack at my desk. Those are all great, but uh, a lot of people don't have tons of space for racks, and they want to get into home labbing or cosplaying as a sysadmin. And uh, this has handles on it, so you can grab it and take it with you. If you had this guy on the front and maybe a little switch that was uh, connected on a shelf underneath it or something, you could just have one cable to plug the whole rack into your network, or two for redundancy. And uh, it'd be really cool if somebody made a UPS. If you had a UPS that was one U on the bottom, or you could just bring a UPS with you. You could have everything plugged into that and take it all to go. Anyway, I think that's cool. Um, I just realized these are actually, these are Keystone. So this is like a little little uh, one U Keystone 10 inch rack that you could put anything in. You could put HDMI or USB. That's kind of cool. Uh, but I'm going to stop talking and start putting all this stuff together so that I have a rack at the end of the day uh, that I can move off of this desk because this is where I shoot my main videos and I have another video to record this week. And um, I also found Turing Pi actually does send a little uh, ATX, the, the back cover for your case. They sent this and I just had it in a box over there. So I found this and they do send one with you. So a lot of people were commenting like, why don't they have a, why don't they have a cover included with it? And they do. So... Um, that was my miss, not seeing that in the case when I got everything out. But let's uh, put everything together. I'm going to put a 80 millimeter fan in here, put this together. I actually ordered from my electronics the faceplate, so hopefully that'll just fit on there uh, so that that one will mount right here. I said I'd, I'd be quiet. I have not been quiet. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the camera off the tripod, bring it over here, and uh, start putting things together. How's this for a new angle? I do have a cold or something. I had strep throat, I don't know what it is. Uh, but something that's kind of annoying lately. Woo. Huh. I just realized these uh, rubber feet on the bottom are leaving marks on my table. Let's see if those come out. Yeah, they do come out, so. That is interesting. Uh, might want to switch out those rubber bumpers for something that doesn't mark, depending on where you put this. They also have this guy, which, you know, this is a full case that can be used as a desktop enclosure or a two wide rack mount or a 10 inch rack mount. This is a tray for a mini ITX motherboard. So you could put this board into here or any mini ITX board with no full enclosure. Uh, but for some people, that's enough, and you could slot it in one U. So you could have a cluster of, this is 8 U, 8 times 6. You can have 48 Raspberry Pi 4, CM4s in here. That's a lot of CPU cores. Uh, or you could even put eight full mini ITX PC builds in here, as long as you have the cooling capacity. A few people mentioned I should uh, re-solder these connections on the Pico PSU. I may do that at some point, but right now I just want to get this off the desk and I don't have time to do that. Which means I might never do it, but we'll see.
<laughs> every time I do this, it is uh, the orientation matters on this top cover. Every time I do it, I flip it around a couple times. It's like a USB port. Okay, bottom piece done. Box number two is the uh, Dusk Pi Super 6C with all the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4s. And uh, this is the 3D printed mini ITX cover plate for it, for the back. So that works. And I forgot to show you it on here. So there's what it looks like with the cover on. Very nice. So I got a Noctua NFA8. It's PWM. I don't know if this board does PWM, but either way, I might just put the noise reducer in and call it a day. Come out the side. Noctua always gives us these rubber bumpers, which I guess are okay for a case like this, but the fan comes with its own rubber bumpers, so I don't understand why those would be useful for most people. I'm sure someone in the comments will mention why they are better than screws when you already have the rubber bumpers on the fan itself. Okay, you can get a little bit closer look. Uh, here's the fan on here, and uh, let's see. Plugged it into fan one on the board. And here's the back, a little closer look at that. And let's get, I think the cover can go on next. Which way will I pick the right orientation this time? Yeah. Yes. Huh. And then I have the new cover. You know what I didn't do? either of these I need to cover up these ports that I have I ordered some extra blanking face plates oh these come from the outside so that's good so I can just pop these on for now now for the face plate there it is it goes in okay dusk pie super 6c is ready to go in Get some more rack screws out. These are just standard 1032 screws. Oh, that fits just in there. Oh, it's not going all the way. I think I might have to take off this blank. Maybe I can just loosen it. Let's see if that works. There we go. Just had to loosen it up a little. Do you need four screws? Not really, but uh, I don't know. Hello. <laughs> Third channel gets wild. You don't really need four screws, but I'll do it anyway. I could do six screws or eight screws or five and be a complete rebel. So here's the backside of the rack thus far. Look at me, I'm already running out of space in an 8U mini rack. But uh, let's get this guy up top. Or almost up top. It looks like with this design you could fit two of these. You could have uh, 24 ports. That's crazy. 24 uh, patch ports right in uh, one U of rack space with this setup. That's kind of cool. Alternatively, it'd be cool if they made a one U or a half U uh, patch brush path through. Path, what? It'd be cool if they made a uh, half-height brush panel here too, so you could pass through some cables if you wanted to. Huh, that's funny. The, uh, I noticed this when I was doing my initial testing. The, uh, the blanks, these little bent parts on them don't fit all the way. If you stack them on top of each other, you can see it's a little bit off there. I won't be able to, uh, I won't be able to get that in. If I go backwards, if I go backwards, I can kind of fit it on there, but that's kind of a little janky. I'll leave it like that for now. Let's see if this fits. Yeah, I could, yeah, that's still, these, these blank panels, the uh, height of them is a tiny bit off. That might fit though, let's check. Maybe it's a sign I should put a Pi 5 in here, see if it works well. 
you know what, I'll go grab a Pi 5 right now and we can stick it in here and, and see how that works. Well, I looked around, I don't have a Pi 5 that's uh, a spare. Right now they're all in active projects, which is a good thing. It's good to use computers that you have, but I did have one spare Pi 4 left that's not being used in something right now. Uh, this is a two gig Pi 4 and I don't have anything on it. No OS is flashed to it right now. Um, so let's see how this thing works. Uh, well, I can unscrew this. Uh, I think you plug it in first. Let's try that. Like that. And then hopefully it all lines up. Looks like it should. It would be interesting if they made a little uh, USB-C power distribution hub too. That could be part of a built-in mini rack UPS. We'll get this pie on here. That's their little 1U uh, 2 Pi or 2 Jetson or Pi and Jetson tray. You know what? I think I have a Jetson. I might try putting that on there. It says it works with uh, Pi, Jetson Nano, and Rock Pi 5B. And it has mounting points for SSDs. I guess I could do that too, but I'm not going to today. Uh, but I'll go find my Jetson. We'll try that out too. Why not? I haven't... Uh, I haven't done anything with its Jetson in a while. Uh, and for the Jetson, you don't need this little breakout board. It's funny, that's almost lined up with the Pi. And uh, it looks like they replicated that, that general layout here. And if I, oh, you know what? I might have to change some of the positions. Yeah. So if you do Jetson is the squares. Because right now I have them on the stars on the bottom. You can see the stars and squares. So I'll move all these over and get some more of these little screws out. Okay, it's not bad. Let's uh, put it back in and see how everything's looking. There we go. So, as with any good project, there's a few bits left over. I can stash away in this little box. So. There we have it. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, yes, these are just kind of plugged in willy-nilly right now. Nothing is running in this rack. Uh, a couple things I think could be improved. Well, it's not really an improvement, more just missing things that you can't really fit in this space. If there's some sort of PDU or way to easily organize uh, power adapters, Maybe an attachment that we could screw on the back that you could have them mounted sideways or something. Or, you know, I, I could maybe even zip tie these things and screw them in like this. I think I might do that. I might just zip tie these so that I can have it all set up with all the plugs hanging out in a way that I could plug them in somewhere. The, there's no PDU that I can find for a 10 inch rack with American plugs. I'd like to see that exist. Uh, maybe I'll design something myself. There's, I've, I've seen ones that are seven inches that are like this wide, but that's not, that wouldn't fit in this rack. Just make them two inches wider. You could fit another plug in there. Uh, once I get that, then I can have everything set up so I could plug one network jack in here and then have all the cables routed through this little patch panel. This is a, it's pretty cool, I think. Um, I think for the home lab space, this kind of thing is, is huge. I mean, look at this. I have 48 CPU cores in here, probably uses about 110, 120 watts full blast with everything going. And there's uh, 12 nodes and you can do a lot of cool stuff in a lab environment with this. You could even set up your own networking schemes, all that kind of stuff. This is not, this isn't going to replace a thread ripper. <laughs> That's not what this is for. This is for learning. This is for uh, another thing that I talked to my dad about is build one of these things. In his case, it wouldn't have a bunch of computers, but it would have a couple, you know, maybe two Raspberry Pis doing different things. It would have a couple little audio devices. It'd have a switch. It'd have a PDU. Take this, build it, and he can take this to any tower site. And if he has one of these at each tower site, if you want to upgrade, just go out to the tower site, bring the new one, set it in place, plug in network, plug in power, you're done. He'd have audio routing too, but most of that's not working nowadays. Uh, and then take the other one back and fix it up when you need to. Like, that's cool. Uh, why aren't more people doing 10 inch racks? Probably because none of them are available. But uh, thanks to DeskPy for sending this. I'm excited to see what else they can do with these. And uh, 
Any other vendors that are making 10 inch gear, please let me know. I would, I would love to test your stuff in this rack or if you make your own rack. I think uh, my electronics had, had mentioned they were doing something. I haven't seen a rack. I've seen these uh, 10 inch cases, but no actual rack. Anyway, I will see you later.